Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine for Home Assistant using VirtualBox in just a few simple steps and all in under five minutes. Having Home Assistant running in a virtual machine is super useful. It can be your main smart home setup or a safe environment for testing and experimenting. The best part is you can easily clone your virtual machine so you can try new things without worrying about breaking your main Home Assistant installation. So let's jump right in and get started. The first step is to head over to the VirtualBox website and download it. VirtualBox is open source and completely free to use. Click on the download button and on the downloads page, you'll see versions for different operating systems. Since I'm using Windows 11, I'll download the Windows version. Once the download is complete, open the file to start the installation. The installer window will open, just click next. Then, accept the terms and conditions by selecting I accept and click next again. Next, choose where to install VirtualBox. Make sure you have enough disk space. I'll leave mine in the default location and click Next. You'll get a warning that your network connection might temporarily disconnect during installation. Click Yes. Another message about missing dependencies might appear, but don't worry. They're not needed for this setup. Click Yes to continue. Now choose if you want to add VirtualBox to the Start menu, create a desktop shortcut, and automatically open virtual machine files with it. Once you're done, click Next. Finally, click Install and wait. It only takes a minute or two. When it's finished, select Start Oracle VirtualBox if you want to open it right away and click Finish. Next, we need to download Home Assistant. On the Home Assistant website, click Getting Started and on the left side, you'll see different versions for each operating system. Choose Other Systems. On that page, select the first link VirtualBox VDI and click it to start the download. Once the download is finished, open the folder where the zip file was saved and extract it. Now let's create the virtual machine. Open the VirtualBox app you just installed, then click Create a new virtual machine. A new window will pop up. Start by giving your machine a name. I'll call mine Home Assistant. You can choose a location for it, but I'll leave the default. For the operating system, select Linux for both the type and version. Next, go to Specify Virtual Hardware and make sure to enable EFI. Then under Specify Virtual Hard Disk, choose Use an Existing Virtual Hard Drive. Click the folder icon on the right, then Add and select the VDI file you extracted earlier. Click Choose and then Finish. Your virtual machine is now created, but there's one more setting to adjust. Double click on the Network section. In the Attach To dropdown, select Bridged Adapter and under Name, choose your network adapter. Click OK to save. Everything's ready. Click Start at the top to power on your Home Assistant virtual machine. Once it boots up, you'll see the IP address assigned to Home Assistant. You'll need it to access the interface. Now that Home Assistant is installed, we just need to open it in the browser. I'll enter the IP address followed by the port number 8123. And here it is. Home Assistant is up and running. Next, we'll go through the initial setup. Click Create My Smart Home. Start by creating a user. Just fill in your name, username, and password, then click Create Account. You can now choose your location. I'll leave the default. And for the country, I'll select United States. On the Share Information page, I'll keep everything disabled for now. Home Assistant will then show that it has already detected some devices on your network. Just click Finish, and that's it. You now have a fresh Home Assistant installation ready to customize. And that's it. Your Home Assistant virtual machine is all set up and ready to go. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and easy to follow. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more smart home tips and tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.